What's going on guys? Fossil here and welcome to Summer Sundays. We just got back from picking up our new puppy, Summer. Summer is a toy cavoodle, half cavalier, half toy poodle. Her mum was a cavalier and her dad was the toy poodle. And I'm super excited. I haven't actually had a puppy for a long time. Uh, I had puppies when I was younger, but I was only three and eight when I got those, so I couldn't really remember what it was like to have them as puppies at that age. Um, I had previous dogs, Max, he was a Moodle, half Maltese, half Poodle, and I had Shoshi, who only passed away in February. She was a straight Maltese, and she passed away, she was 17. So she had a pretty long life, but now we have got a brand new puppy, Summer, and this is the start of a brand new series over on my channel, Summer Sundays. So here we are with little Summer. Now, we're gonna put her down on her new grass patch. We've got a small grass patch here for her um, to do her business. And this is where we're gonna teach her to go. Obviously, she needs a bit of work for the taught training, but that's all right. That's all part of the fun, is teaching her new tricks and her obedience and her toilet training. So this is Summer's little grass patch we've got. We're gonna put it down here and see if she needs to go to the toilet because we just got it back. And then we'll give her rewards every time she needs. Oh, good girl. Are you sitting already for us? Try and give her rewards whenever she goes to the toilet here because this is where we want her to go. No, she just wants to play. That's what puppies do. They, they play for half an hour and then it's half an hour of just sleep and then play for half an hour it's just going gung-ho and she's been asleep on the way home so she's pretty active right now but we're gonna go on heaps of adventures aren't we summer obviously when she gets a bit older we're gonna have to take her to the vet a bit later on i think she wants to try and chew these plants which she's not allowed come here you can't have that we're gonna take her to the vet later and we're gonna get her checked over she's gonna have two more sets of vaccinations before she can go out on walks. And she might have to wait another four to six weeks before she can go out and walk. She's currently 10 weeks old. So <laughs> she's just trying to chew mum's finger here. And now she's chewing my finger. Oh, she's got razor sharp teeth, don't you, sweetie? Oh, hey, what do you want? We've got plenty of toys that we're gonna introduce her to later. She's got the white features. I mean, we picked this dog up 15 seconds after it went live because we've been wanting one of these for a while and she's the perfect one. We missed out on a few because it took about five minutes. And you gotta get on there really quickly and purchase them, otherwise they're gone. And I think we got the perfect dog this time. Oh, that really hurts. She's dragging her teeth along my finger. You can't do that, Summer. Look, she just wants to play. We're gonna go, do you wanna, she didn't wanna go to the toilet, so we'll go and see if she wants to drink and then maybe she'll go to the toilet later on, okay? Come on, Summer. I don't know if she can, there's a step here, so I'm not sure if she can get that. Yeah, it might be too big for her, so we're gonna have to pick her up. Yeah, the step's too big, come here, sweetie. Come here, sweetie, come on. Step's too big for you. Okay? The step's too big. Let's go. And we'll I'm gonna take her inside and get her a little drink. Okay? Go and get you a little drinkies. And introduce her to her new place. We're gonna give her a bath later, so. And then get her nice and settled in. Welcome to the fossil residence. Okay, oh, okay, hang on. Here we go, sweetie. Do you have a little drink? Big drink, hey? And then you might want to go to the tort later on. Big, big drink. 
honestly cannot believe we've got this little thing in our house now. It's like we went to pick her up. There was a couple of other ones that were bred with Labradors crossbreeds, and I thought that can't be her. She's huge. But then I looked to the side, and here's this little mini thing just sitting there because her brother had just left. Hey, she has to get used to her little house. She's got a wet tongue. Hmm. Big drink, hey. Eh? Big drink. Can we go to the toilet now after that drink? That's when they like to go to the toilet. They like to go to the toilet as soon as they eat and after they've slept. So we might go and check if she needs to go to the toilet again. Okay, so Summer's just had a big drink and we're gonna see if she wants to go to the toilet again. We're gonna be taking her out every hour to make sure that she doesn't do anything inside. Obviously she'll have a couple of accidents and that's expected. If she doesn't want to go, that's all right. We'll just keep trying with her. You gotta be patient. And we're rewarded when she does something good. And if she doesn't, has an accident, you don't go mad at her or anything. You just, you just gotta ignore her. She wants to chew these plants, which some are, you can't have that. Do not chew those. <laughs> no. But she obviously she still doesn't want to go to the toilet yet. So we'll let her play around for a bit and see. <laughs> She's jumping around. Look at her. You are so cute, aren't you? Come on, Summer. Look, say hello to the viewers. Hey? Well, they're here for you. They want to watch you. They want to see me on the camera. Hey? Say hello to your viewers, Summer. She actually hasn't barked yet. We haven't heard her bark once. Um, my previous dog, she had Shoshi. She had the highest pitched bark. And as she got older, when she got to about 12, 13, she just stopped barking. Um, so I'm not sure about this one. She's about to fall, fall out of this. Okay. I think she's pretty, ex uh, pretty happy just to roam around for the moment. So we're just gonna follow her around and see what she wants to do. So we actually had this grass put down for our previous dog, but she was obviously getting a bit old at that stage and it was kind of hard to try to go on here. You can't chew those. She keeps wanting to chew these plants. You can't chew them. We've got toys for you to chew later. Hey, beautiful. I think she's finally doing a wee. Summer having her first little treat. So we just made an appointment for the vet and they're excited to see her. I think half the nation's excited to see this dog. Ow! Uh, uh. Hey? What are you, you're such a cutie, aren't you? Hey? Summer? Summer, what are you doing? Are you trying to undo my shoelaces, are you? Huh? Are you trying to, were you trying to undo my shoelace? Oh, you gonna undo them again, are you? Summer, what are you doing? Are you trying to undo my shoelaces? Summer, you can't be doing that. You're trying to take my shoes off. So Summer's just had a play. She's been non-stop crazy for the last hour. Now she's all worn out, so we put her to sleep in her little pen, if you want to have a look. She hasn't got her bed in there yet. She's going to have that put in there 
after she has a bath. So we got this door here so we can sort of keep her confined and make her feel more secure because they like small spaces. And she's just in here having a little sleep on a blanket. Bought mission. So we're just going to let her have a sleep there for a little bit before we take her off to the vet. We got this gate because we thought it might be too much for her with the actual door closed. Um, we didn't want to isolate her too much, so we thought that if we had this, she still feels like she's a part of it, but she's got her little secure area to go. And should we, we'll give her a bath when we get back from the vet. And then she can have her new bed. So here's a little summer playing with her little Nyla bone. We've got her a few other toys that we're going to slowly, gradually give to her. But she was a bit agitated and she was looking for something to do. So we thought we'll just give her this for the time being. To keep her occupied while we get her dinner prepared. And then we'll slowly give her other toys because if you give them all to her at once they get bored so if you gradually give them to her she'll keep her interested for a bit longer and she's finding this really amusing it's just a little nylon bone but she's loving it like she's going crazy for it aren't you summer like look give me that bone give me that bone ah! and you can see my hand is then it's so it's like red raw because she won't stop chewing it So we're just preparing her dinner. We've got a little bit of minced chicken here we're cooking on the stove to go with her dry food. And she'll have it, this will probably last her for a few days. She'll just have a little bit with it, with her dry food, just to break it up. So she's not eating the same thing all the time. So I'm just getting Summer's first meal here. Uh, she's gonna have some of this dry food. Um, the same dry food she's been eating at the place we got her from, Chevre Mist. And she's also going to have some of this minced chicken with it. Um, originally she'd been having some raw uh, minced beef, but I'm not really a fan of handling raw meat and giving her raw meat. So we're going to give her some cooked minced chicken. And because we're slightly changing the diet, it might give her some diarrhea for a few days, but that's alright. The vet said she was happy for us to give her some cooked minced chicken. And she's gonna be having it in this bowl, which was Shoshi, our old dog's bowl. Um, just so it's something sort of to remember her by. But we're gonna put in a little bit of, of this um, dry food, just a little bit more. I think that might have been just a tad too much, but if you, she does need it, it doesn't matter. Now we're going to get this chicken, I'm going to put it on this little saucer, just a few spoons full. Because they have really sensitive tummies, uh, puppies, so you can't mix up their diet too much, otherwise it upsets them. And so we put a bit of chicken, and just a tiny bit more. Because she's supposed to be eating three times a day, and she hasn't today, so... I'm going to give her just a little bit extra. All right, so I'm going to grab this little saucer and then we're going to 
just put it in the microwave just to take the chill off it for five seconds because it's just coming out of the fridge. So we'll grab this and there. So we give her this chicken with the dry food just to mix it up so she's not eating the same dry food all the time. But even when you change over dry foods to a new one, you have to gradually do it by giving them half of each and then you know a quarter and a third just to help with um, the acceptance of their tummy because they've got really sensitive tummies. But that's gonna be it, that's what she's gonna be eating over the next few weeks. Some of that dry food and some minced chicken, and we're gonna go and give it to her now. Summer, dinner time, where are you? Come on, sweetie. Here she comes. Look, dinner time. Can you sit? Can you sit, sweetie? I don't think she's quite learnt the manners yet, but that's all right. We'll let her get away with it just for now. Because we haven't taught her yet. Oh, she is sitting and she's trying to shake. Did you see that? Okay, at the way, I'm gonna put it on your little placemat. Come on, over here. Look, I'm gonna put it on your placemat. Good girl. Now, you hungry, sweetie? That was one thing I noticed. She does like to take her food over to the mat for some weird reason. Um, Shoshi, our old dog, used to do that as well. They like the feeling of the carpet under their feet. So let's bring this place mat over here, right next to the mat. So then she can just reach across and eat her food. Summer and I just wanted to say thanks for watching the first episode of Summer Sundays. And on next week's episode, you can see Summer having her first bath. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on next week's episode of Summer Sundays.